Welcome everyone. Welcome to the Honey Soul Child Bottega YouTube channel. I am your girl, Melinda J. And I'm here to do a blockage reading for the water signs out there since the new moon, well, excuse me, not the new moon, the full moon in Capricorn is approaching. So why not remove those blockages so we can be able to um, create the life that we really want to live in, okay? Um, please keep in mind that all readings are for entertainment purposes and everything is not set in stone um, because it is due to free will. I am not here to... Uh, um, um, I can only guide you all to a certain degree to where you can take heed of the messages and apply it to whatever situation that you are in in your life, okay? Now, without further ado, I am using the chakra deck, one of my chakra decks, because that can, um, because we're dealing with blockages. <clears throat> and then also following suit with the shadow cards, the shadow work cards, as well as the psychic reading cards in the beginning. And towards the end, it will be the psychic creator oracle cards as a closing messages for all my water signs. And to clarify for some additional messages or gaining some clarity, we have the Angel Wisdom Tarot deck. So without further ado, let's get into the message. So what is going on with the water signs? Ooh, the crown chakra. Hmm. The crown chakra, number seven. Control, reassessment, reflecting, possibly. At the bottom of the deck, we have birthing new. So there are some changes, some possible changes along the way. Are you okay? I know I did a reading <laughs> for us healing with the water signs, and it was talking about surrendering. Are y'all fighting with the universe again? Hmm? I hope not. Okay, let's see what's going on with the psychic. Let's see what message comes with the psychic reading cards. Please present me one card, Spirit. We have nature. Okay, we have nature with the number 25. So that's another seven. All right. Bottom of the deck, tree of life. And that is the number eight with the five plus three being reduced, five, six, seven, eight, yeah. Um, that is being reduced. And then lastly, we have the shadow card. Let's see what shadow work could be worked on. Now, why y'all got? Why does the water signs got two? Let's see. We got self absorb and quick tipper. Let's see if <laughs> I just need one card. I just need one card. Let's see if those same those. Let's see if the same card comes out. Quick tempered and self absorbed. I'm not gonna do y'all like that. <laughs> I know y'all get. I know water signs get a bad rep for quick tempered and and being self absorbed, which that can tailor to the crown chakra. But let's see what other cards come out. Please provide me one card, spirit. Just one. I need one. Here we go. Insecurity. Ooh. Okay. Insecurity. It reads, 
please understand your worth, your value, your purpose here on earth. There is no need to feel small or compare yourself to others. Mm. Interesting. Interesting. Let's read upon this crown chakra card. Let's see what other messages it's talking about. Okay, so with the crown chakra, the element is ether. Keywords is dealing with alchemy, divinity, focus, and creativity. Challenges could be indecisive, lack of joy, frustration, powerless, and flighty. Okay. <coughs> New aspects could be divinity and God self. And it reads, you are, being, you are a being of light, which also encom uh, encompasses the shadow of aspect uh, that the light exposes. Great wisdom and guidance lies within the shadows. Don't fear them or discard them. You are able to manifest great miracles in your life and the world when you acknowledge the divine self and recognize your immortality and the integral part you play in the cycle of all the life on earth and in the cosmos. The transformation of your inner and outer worlds comes from the divine knowledge that you are one with source and carry the alchemical codes to co-create with the universe. So, water signs, you are a being, you are beings of light, okay? If no one has told you today, I'm telling you now. You all are beings of life. Everyone is a being of light. You just got to tap into it. Don't be afraid. All right, so that's that one. And let's read upon the nature card. I hope y'all are able to see that. If not, I am so sorry, y'all. But I want you all to see all the cards. All the cards. <clears throat> So, with the nature card, it reads, The universe is calling you to go outside and connect. You have received this card as the universe wants you to leave the confines of your home or office to step away from technology. This is a time to remember that beauty surrounds you in the great outdoors. We are constantly busy at times, can feel ungrounded and disconnected from the universe. The nature card is a gentle reminder. It is time to stop and go outside. Be among nature is a very positive and uplifting experience for your soul as it can help you to relax, release, and distress from your everyday busy life. Nature can also reconnect you to the source energy of the universe to help you find your higher self. The message from this card is to tell you to go outside, listen to the birds, feel the breeze pass by, Look up to the sky and watch the clouds and their glorious formations and colors. Watch the sun rise or set. Look out for shooting stars or the phases of the moon above you. Look for the signs from the nature in the form of insects such as butterflies, dragonflies, or ladybugs. Watch as birds in their various shapes and forms pay you a visit. Look out for feathers as a sign from above. Find a tree you can sit under and relax and read a book. Or better, sit uh, still, give a tree a hug and feel the positive energy the tree surrounds you with. You may also wish to take time out to work in the garden, planting new shrubs, building a veggie patch, or weeding and tending to your garden space. If you don't have a garden, don't despair. Nature will connect with you whatever you need her. You may choose to go for a simple walk, visit a park, the beach, or the mountains, or simply just go outside, take your shoes off, feel the grass beneath your toes. The most important thing for you to do is to go outside today to reconnect and feel the peace. Okay, so um, due to the fact that you all are water signs, <laughs> go ahead and jump into the pool. Put your feet in some water. All right. Whether it's in the beach front, in the swimming pool, or may maybe in your tub. It don't matter. All right. Let's move forward to the messages. 
some clarity message. Oh, okay. The candle didn't win out. So the... All right, the candle then went out, girl. I'm gonna have to add another one in there. <coughs> Here we go. All right, we got the Ace of Cups, the Nine of Pentacles. The High Priestess, the Seven of Swords, and the Eight of Swords. The bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Wands. Okay. Hmm. Ace of Cups. Is dealing with love, compassion, creativity, overwhelming emotions, hence the water signs. We are dealing with emotions and feelings, okay? It may be in a, a romantic relationship or a deep friendship, or you may be the type of individual that is awakening to their psychic abilities or spiritual insights, meaning a spiritual awakening, or you may be a person that just received a love letter or has written a love letter to send your offering to your love interest, your admirer. As well as you may be an individual that is embarking on an offer on a home. Hence, you have this dolphin here. A dolphin is joy, joyful, a joyful creature, playful creature. And this child is... Uh, this mermaid child so it's giving you like um a childlike energy when you're offering this cup whether for an offer to a new home um your love interests or your your spiritual awakening along with the um uh, ace of cups we have the nine of pentacles meaning Enjoying the fruits of labor. Heart, you may be enjoying your fruits of labor or going to enjoy your fruits of labor. You may be a hard worker that has led to a luxurious lifestyle, um, which meaning to buy yourself something special uh, that leads to you being happily and successful uh, as a self-employed individual and entrepreneur. And you are enjoying your solitude as this individual is. She is very regal in this image and her pinnacles is on this gate. All right. In the rows of threes. Hmm. In the rows of threes. Growth. Collaboration. Growth. Collaboration. <coughs> the nine of pinnacles is also talking about, excuse me. Showing gratitude for the things that you have right now so you can uh, welcome new opportunities to come your way as well. Uh, at the bottom of the deck, you may be feeling a little restless, hence you have this nature card um, that is um, ushering you to tap into nature so you can recenter yourself from the technology, your busy lifestyle, so you can stay focused and stay on the course. <clears throat> because in due time, there is going to be certain situations where it requires some immediate action. Um, hence, you have the high priestess here uh, to also to go in and meditate and turn inward to discover your soul's desire, true desire, because of this um emotional experience maybe a spiritual awakening or embarking on a new offering that is a little overwhelming and of course it could be not the time to take action because you don't want to act in impulse you don't want to act in feelings and emotions you want to be stable you want to be ready and 
uh, and a little bit of analytical to see all sides of the equation before you make that decision. And of course, with the high priestess cards, you could be developing your intuitive gifts and trust in the wisdom that you receive because of the fact of the awakening of your psychic abilities or spiritual insights. Now, following suit here with the Seven of Swords, there could be a loss of peace of mind or personal freedom. Hence, you have this individual here that is taking away the swords as these people that um, are in the background is surrounded by this bonfire, this small bonfire. And you have this bird here, could be a messenger along the way send you a message to take caution and be aware of others actions you could be experiencing a material loss however you need to make sure you're being honest with yourself and embracing uh uh or there could be embarrassing secrets that haven't came out yet but what i'm feeling here in regards to this spread here is to make sure you're being honest with yourself as you're offering this cup as you're gaining insight and your insecurity, you know, knowing your worth, your value, your purpose here on earth, it's important to make sure you are being completely honest with yourself aside with the f feelings and emotions. That's why you have to go inward, meditate, go out in nature, tap into those activities that I explained earlier. Because with this crown chakra, it's um is a blockage you know because here right here entrapment the illusions of entrapment a lack of self-confidence hence this insecurity card is the shadow work that needs to be addressed in order for you to take upon this new emotional um very loving creative and compassionate new start you got to address this insecurity because it's affecting the crown chakra. The crown chakra is dealing with the subconscious. Whatever you, whatever thoughts come into mind, it can come into fruition. So it's important to take responsibility of your life now and don't be afraid to take action when it's needed because you need to be, because of the fact of the matter that, um, you are able to get out of this energy and um, trust that everything that you have, showing gratitude, trust that everything that you have right now, showing gratitude of what you have right now, it leads to a more endless abundance and possibilities to come forward to you because no, um, because of the fact that you're opening your heart chakra, you're opening to receiving new opportunities because you are showing gratitude. You're you're finding your sense of purpose. You're finding your sense of worth. Okay, so it's important to do that. My water signs. Now to conclude this message for the water signs, let's go ahead and oh oh okay. Y'all always getting two cards. <laughs> <laughs> y'all always getting two cards i i need one okay that way i can read upon the message and then or later on down the line when there's like two cards provided i can do so but right now we're gonna do it with one card because i'm running over time as usual I hope you all are enjoying this message so far. Okay, here we go. Ooh. <laughs> what? Okay, the card for you all is what's your honest truth? What is your honest truth? And you have the number 20 at the bottom. And this card right here is giving me water energy due to the color tones and at the bottom of the deck you are light you are light <laughs> as it was talking about with the crown chakra you are being of light so yes this 
everything is coming together okay very quickly it reads we hold on to many layers of truth truths we learn from our parents the ones we learn during lived experiences and the ones that our ego holds on in order to lovingly protect us from the world you've outgrown a layer and it's time to do some shedding in order to curate the best framework for your future at the base of all your learned truths lies in different sorts of truth and underlying true essence and this core foundation is refusing to be quieted or ignore any longer you will hear it clearly now as an old truth has become too small for your expanding life perhaps an uh, a sole purpose a sacred contract or a destiny is unveiling your tr truest true or your honest truth perhaps it is reminding you now that you are here for a reason when you strip it all down to the soul what work are you being called to do and why are you here at this time beautifully said okay so that concludes this reading my water signs please comment feel free to comment down below on how this message resonates with you if not that is fine there'll be more to come um, be sure to like the video if you haven't done so already subscribe to the youtube channel and hit that notification bell so you know the next time i upload the videos be sure to follow me on all my social media platforms they will be in the description bo box below it's only facebook and instagram and without further ado i'm gonna leave you all with this to always love thyself know thyself to thyself so you can heal thyself and i'll see you guys in the next video bye